All right. Now that you have a vision and you know who you want to serve, it's time to develop your ideal client avatar. Lots of times you'll hear this referred to as your ICA, but your ideal client avatar does a couple of different things for you. Number one, it lets you know exactly who you should be spending your time with. Let's look at this for example. Let's say for example, like I was using the analogy before, I'm a graphic designer and I'm talking about speakers. Now I'm gonna define exactly who am I hanging out with, right? Like this is part, second part of the vision. Speakers happen to be there. Now there's many different types of speakers. There's youth speakers, there's motivational speakers, there's educational speakers, but more importantly, when you know exactly who your ideal client is, you can go ahead and you can define it even more in the micro. So let's say I'm looking at speakers who are just getting started. Now, one of the things that you're going to begin to do is that you have to find out exactly where your audience congregates, because if you're going to serve them and you're going to do graphic design for speakers, you have to figure out some of the pain points, some of the needs, some of the things they're looking to be able to do. I look at this as kind of like dating. Business is based upon relationships. And if you think about it, if you went out on a date with a person and the entire time, all they did was talk about themselves, how likely are you to go ahead and want to go on a second date or a third date or fourth date? But if you went on a date with an individual and they were innately curious about you, about things you enjoy doing, about your background, about what you did professionally, what you're passionate about, I'm pretty sure the odds of you wanting them to go on a second date with them would be substantially higher. The same thing happens in business. This is relationships. So if you go in, you wanna find things like Facebook groups, networking events, professional trade associations, and you wanna entrench yourself in that environment so you can learn a little bit more about them. And as you learn more about them, you'll learn some of the challenges of what they're having. Like for example, designing ebook covers, because a lot of speakers, a lot of times write books. So if you spend time there and you're spending time around them, what's going to end up occurring is you're going to learn their language. You're going to learn things that, that they have as pain points. And as you're spending time there, it then gives them permission to want to engage with you because you are now one of them. But before you can even get in depth of exactly what to find and tactical things you can be able to do, you have to look at who your ideal client is. So now that you have that, spend some time thinking about now that I, I have my ideal client and I've spent time around them, what are some things they care about, not what you're looking to give to them? So look forward to seeing you on the next video.